What's up everybody, what's up YouTube, I'm Jack, and this is Jack Reacts, and for today's reaction, y'all, we got Mary J. Blige, You Remind Me. Big shout out to Eric Ross for the request on this, I appreciate the love and support. Hey man, if you're watching and you'd like to further support the channel and have me react to a song or live performance of your choice, click that link down below, send me your song, I'll react to it and shout you out in the video. Um, listen, love Mary J. Blige, I've reacted to her plenty, plenty, plenty of times on the channel, and it's always a treat to do her on the channel, man. This is off of her, um, damn, I forget what this album name is, but it's like probably her biggest or most iconic album right here. So yeah, and it seems to be very po fairly popular as well. I'm surprised I never reacted to it. So nonetheless, sorry to get into it. Let's get into it, man. This is oh, this is early Mary. smooth i love this era of mary like her earlier stuff when she was doing um like when she was first starting doing those uh hip-hop r&b collabs that she really pioneered hip-hop r&b collabs i think other artists had done it before but she really put it on a mainstream level um and you know even a lot of her songs where it was just her just r&b a lot of the beats had a lot of hip-hop influence you know this sounds like ll could be on it or you know a lot of East Coast rappers from this era. I love this beat right here. It's raw, but it's also R&B. It still has nice melody to it. And it also, another thing when you have a hip hop beat is hip hop beats are meant to have a lot of space because when you have an MC over top who's doing lyrics, you want to really be able to hear the lyrics, hear them spit the bars. You know, whereas a lot of, you know, pop, R&B, whatever, the instrumentals can be much more full because it's just about melody, catchy chorus, etc. So Mary being over like a hip hop beat that has a lot more breathing room and a lot of frequencies that are missing, it allows for her voice to really shine through and it gives this sort of like raw, lo-fi um, effect that I love, especially with her earlier work, man. This is a vibe right here. This is the great sound of track. You remind me.
love that instrument. It's a, it sounds like a flute or maybe some sort of synthesized flute. But I really like that. That was a unique sound there. Yeah, yo, she's saying. This is great. I love like I love the the back half of the song, especially look when that really cool instrument came in and she kind of hit that climax and started singing, hitting all those riffs and runs. And especially for a song like this, that's a little bit more of a vibe. This is something you can play in the car, dance to, play it a function. Um, I don't expect her to be singing like her life depends on it. So for her to hit those runs at the end, it's kind of like an extra bonus point, like cherry on top that she didn't have to do, but she did it anyways. And I appreciate that as, as a listener. It makes the song more interesting. And again, takes it to the next level. Shout out to the producer as well of this beat. And thank you again so much to Eric Ross for the request on this. I appreciate the love and support. Listen, man, if you are watching and there's a song or live performance that you want me to check out, click the link down below. Send me that song. I'll react to it and shout you out in the video. Listen, man, y'all have a blessed day, though. Blessed night and peace.